Hello everybody. Welcome back to the House of Jane. My name is Lisa. Today I have the July Your Creative Studio box. I haven't cut the tape. I'm very excited to open it. Today I am going to show you the contents of this box, which I will tell you up front was gifted to me by the lovely Amanda. She is the owner of Your Creative Studios. And I am also going to do a process craft that is super, 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 super easy. I'll do that after I do the unboxing and I will be using some of the items that I receive in this box. I think it's always nice to show what you could um, use with these items, like what kind of crafts you can do. And um, I love to do that in conjunction with an unboxing. So here is the box. And there is a little thank you so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy our July collection. And here it says, don't worry, I will be here holding you tight. And it has a little clip. So maybe we get some clips. I always save this tissue paper because I use it to craft with. It is very pretty. I love the um, vintage colors. I love the, what is that called? Um, not a megaphone, old record player. And uh, flowers and the hot air balloon. I'll probably have to cut the sticker. This is not coming off easy, so I don't want to ruin it. I use so much of the contents, like the papers and stuff like that. Okay, let's take everything. Oh, wow, this box. You don't know. I, um, I adore this box. I love this box. This is just, to me, like better than opening a birthday present except that, that birthday present is for my kids or somebody like that. So the first thing on top are stickers. And these are the stickers. It looks like there are, hmm, trying to see if there's a number of stickers in here. It doesn't quite say. So let's just open it up. Stickers are really a great way to, you know, embellish and craft with. Even if you don't do junk journaling, you can use stickers in your own private journal, on letters and stuff like that. So let's take a quick look at the stickers. I'm going to put them on here. Let me get a little closer so you can see what I see sitting here at my desk so it looks like I'm not gonna go through everything but the um, looks like there's two of each and they're very definitely very vintage if you are into vintage items this is the box for you I love anything old-fashioned this looks like from the turn of the century, 1920s, and wow, I just adore them. Adore, adore, adore. Couldn't get any cuter than this. Oops. And stickers are really, like, sometimes it's a little hard to peel them, but I find them as great ways to embellish anything. And there's definitely a lot of them in here. Old cars, old bicycles. Okay, this looks like a truck from the 50s maybe, so it's getting a little bit older. So you get the idea of what's in here. I really wish I knew how many. Here's actually like uh, Pioneer stickers. Very nice. 
my garage rules. Oh, and like little dolls. Kind of like Tim Holtz made dolls like this, but not in the sticker as far as I know. So yeah, there are a ton of these stickers in here. Very, 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 very nice. I always try to figure out, there actually might be, I try to decipher the code here of how many could actually be in here. All right, it says 185, 90 millimeter. I know there's not 185 stickers in here, but definitely one, two, three, four, five. This looks like five across. 25. There's probably a hundred because it looks like two of each and five times. Oh no, five times six is 30. So there's like 120 stickers here. If I'm figuring this out right, let's just go with it. 120 stickers. That will last a long time. So you can definitely do you know happy mail and give away a lot of that to friends so all right that's the first one here is some sticky notes and this looks this has the your creative studio label so this is probably one of her own ideas and it is a beautiful pad of sticky notes that you could use you know, any way you want. You can actually use it as a notepad or in your journals. Okay, then moving on, we have another vintage notepad by Your Creative Studios. And the paper is definitely bigger and lovely. So this one was just the same design throughout, which I love the design. And this one here, just trying to get you in camera good, is um, it's various designs. Again, really, really lovely. I'm going to adjust this camera again. I'm sorry for all the camera adjustments. But I just want to make sure you see this really good. I love this. Again, you can use this as a notepad. You can use it as journals. In your journal incorporate however you want. You can make tags out of these. Maybe put this on a stiffer paper, glue it on, and make really pretty tags. Okay, I heard some clinking and clanking, and I need these really a lot. <laughs> these are clips, but they're very old-fashioned and vintage looking. So this is wonderful, like if you want to hold open pages in a book that you're working on, say if I wanted to go ahead and decorate, you know, do some junk journaling over here on this book, I can just go like this and clip it on like that and then I can work on my book no problem. So I love clips. I only have like one or two of these clips so these are really appreciated. Then we got some lavender. It looks like uh, these are also stickers. Just little pretty springs of lavender. Really pretty. And this is, says cottage garden 60 pieces. Okay, cool. I, I didn't have to figure out how many pieces. And this just looks like um, vintage papers or reproductions of vintage papers. So I would say they're almost two and a half, almost two and a half inch squares. And then there's just various sizes and different papers. And they feel good. They feel vintage. So little vintage postcards. And the backs are all blank. Aww, isn't that cute? That's adorable. 
I love little little children. She looks very angelic. She looks kind of sad. And that looks like definitely French. So yeah, six. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Sixty pieces of paper. Okay, it keeps getting better, guys. Look at this. This is a stamp set. It says so. It says peel the individual stamp from backing. Stick it to acrylic block for stamping. So here's what the stamps look like. And it's just little binder clips and little pieces of paper with clips on it. So what you would do is you would take this and let me grab, um, excuse my block, it's, it's dirty, but you would just stick it on the block like that, ink it up, and then stick it on. So this is really nice. I'm telling you, there's a reason why I just love this box. If you had to go and buy these a la carte somewhere, you'd be paying a lot of money for this whole entire set. This way, someone, this is why I love this box, someone curates it for you every month and the individual cost, the everything all together cumulative is much cheaper than if you were to go to a website or somewhere else and buy, you know, a la carte, one of each, one of each. It would be much more expensive. I'll leave down below the price of the subscription box. I believe, I, I, I really don't know what it is, but I know if you order multiple months of it, it is cheaper. So if you if you got like a three month subscription versus a one month, the price goes lower. Conversely, saying if you got six month subscription, it would be cheaper than a three month subscription. Okay, here is some washi tape. And this, I can tell, has um, binder clips on it. So let's take a quick look at it. If I can peel it open. I'll show you. Here we go. Hopefully it's not a lot of glare. Really pretty. I can think of so many ways to use it. I love washi tape. A lot of times you don't even have to use glue on it. This is sticky enough by itself. But if like you were going to put this in a the um like a book binding like to cover a spine of a book i would definitely use glue okay now i am not quite putting this back together so nicely that will work all righty this feels like it says cling stamp so let's see what kind of stamp this is and it is one stamp in here of um, a tab, but it's a very elegant tab. And with these tabs, you can use it like this and, st you know, stamp your paper or these actually peel off and you can peel that off and stick it on your block. It's up to you how you want to use it. Right now, I'm not going to peel it. But I love that you have the option of peeling it off and sticking it on an acrylic block. And here is another um, cling stamp. I saved this packaging too. <laughs> I, I junk journaled with these labels. I just love it. This is just too nice to toss. Way too nice to toss. And here are two tabs. Very elegant tabs in the box. So we got three tabs, different designs, and we got these stickers, I mean these stamps. That's a lot. I love it. Okay, these are 
stickers. These are stickers of binder clips. So it's from Your Creative Studio. I'm sure it's one of her designs. So that's really nice. And the last thing, which I noticed in the last few boxes, all had sheets of vellum. We have five sheets of vellum. It's the office theme, you know, paper clips and binders, and obviously very vintage. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love working with vellum, and I'm going to show you a little craft of vellum right after I um, finish this unboxing. I'm going to show you with clear vellum, but I suppose you can use printed vellum. And that is the July Your Creative Studio box. Again, another fantastic box. I am in love with everything. Let me um, straighten up a little bit, and I'm going to show you a really quick craft using these items. Be right back. Hi, guys. I'm back. So the craft we're going to make is a little pocket. It's made from a book page and it has a vellum window. And this is great for putting in tags. And this is also really nice if you have a book and you want to put a pocket in your book. You would glue it on this side right here. And you can have a pocket that you can stick tags in it. This is not my idea. This is an idea that um, I saw from a lady named Roxy, and she does probably weekly challenges, and this is her latest Roxy challenge. I will leave a link below to her, to her YouTube channel. I learn a lot from her. So I am doing the Roxy challenge of using old book pages and vellum to make a pocket. So, here is my old book page. It's from a German book. And I am going to, the paper's actually pretty good too. It's, it's not very thin or flimsy. So I am going to remove the white. So when I fold it, you will only see print. And that's how Roxy did it, but it doesn't mean you have to do it that way. But I want to see the folded print when I make my pocket. And I love using a metal ruler like this. This is my, I use this every day. It's just great because you don't have to use scissors and it does a really nice clean line. Well, pretty clean. The little imperfections look actually very nice. So I am going to fold my page up like that. I'm telling you, this is very easy. I just learned this today. So there we go. And then I am going to fold my sides in. There's no measuring involved, which is also nice. And it gives you the freedom just to have fun and not worry about, you know, how many inches should I fold something in. It's just whimsy. Okay. So my pocket's not going to be this tall, but before I cut it down, I am going to use this piece of vellum that came in um, the July's box, and this will be like my little window. Okay, the vellum is a little too wide, which is okay. I will just cut it a little bit and make sure I can get in there. Let's see if I cut it enough. Nope. Let me cut the other side. 
Now, if you don't have vellum, that's okay. You can use whatever you like. But I made this one right here. My son received some mail and I used the envelope that it came in and cut the vellum from the mail. Some people even use the packaging from cereal. When the cereal's all eaten, they wash the bags and they have their vellum. So there, I cut it down, it looks good. And let's see, I want my pocket to end around here. So I am gonna take, let me see. Yeah, so I'm gonna rip it right there. Okay, so now we're going to cut the corners, and this is what I learned from Roxy. <laughs> I learned so much from her, and I'm going to draw it with pen so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm not going to cut on this line. Let me get really close. Normally, I wouldn't draw the pen, but... um. Excuse me. I'm not going to cut on this line. I'm going to cut at an angle. So, here's the line. I'm going to cut at a slight angle to that line. Take a smaller scissor and I'm going to cut right towards the crease. And then I'm going to go off the page. So when you fold it up, it looks nice. It just has a mitered corner. Let me fix that. There we go. I'm going to cut a little I'm not going to cut the straight line right here. I'm just going to cut it mitered to the point. And then off the page. So when I fold it, going to look like that. I'm going to have mitered edges and it's going to um, reduce any bulk. So before I glue, now I'm just going to glue everything together. I'm going to put my little vellum window in there and I'm going to use a glue stick because regular glue can make the paper kind of warpy. So you just gotta fiddle around with cutting, you know, on the angles like that. Once you do it a couple of times, it's really easy. Put my little window in there. I want it up like that towards the top. And just glue everything down. Make sure this is over. There we go. And now I have my little pocket ready for embellishments. And we'll go ahead and embellish this one and the one I made earlier. So for this one, I wanted to use a sticker, this little girl. I think she's so pretty. Just looks cute. 
and I was thinking of using, oh, let me fix the camera so you can see a little bit of what I got. Here are some of the items. Uh, there we go. This is just some of the items from the box I was going through. Um, I thought it would look really cute if we had her against a backdrop of some sort. See, I think she looks a little bit too washed out with that color. So, let's see. Maybe this. Save the date. Maybe a little washy on top. So let's go ahead and put that down. I don't want to overthink what I'm doing. Part of it's due to time. Um, I want to get this video posted today. And I hope you all um, have been enjoying um, some of the content on my channel. I really enjoy doing videos, process videos. I'm, I'm really new to process videos, so sometimes, you know, I notice time is of a factor. Time is of the essence sometimes, and I don't want them to be too long. Let's put some washi tape on top. I think that looks nice. I'm just going to rip it. And there we go. Get some washi on top. Save the date. And let me see if I can peel this sticker without taking. Let me see. Here we go. It'd be nice if we can read save the date. Here we go. It's like an invitation. And there, we have a very simple pocket, and it's ready to use with one of your pretty tags. Here's a tag I made a little while ago, and you can just stick it in there, or you can use, actually, here is some of the note paper that came in the kit. This was a pad of paper. So what would be really nice is you put some note paper in there with the ticket, put it in the pocket, and there you go. You can put it right into your journal. Pick a page, any page, I can put it there, and we're good to go. Very simple. So that's the first tag. Let's decorate the tag I made earlier today. It was just from a regular book. This is a little bit smaller, and I'm telling you, I didn't buy vellum. I used it from this envelope. And... Uh, Let's do another sticker combination. Let's see what we got. I don't know. I suppose anything I use could be pretty. I kind of want to use something with a little color. Hmm. Maybe. That's the thing with this box, there's so many choices of what you can actually use. I'm not going to overthink it. Let's, oh, I know what I wanted to use. I wanted to use those really pretty um, lavender flowers, if I can find what I did with it. I actually work at a desk that's... Um, my actual workspace is really not that big. 
And of course you want to get things on camera and um, I want to have you see it so I, I zoom in and it makes the space even smaller. So let's use some pretty on here. They do have a little thing that says life is great, not as bad as you think. But that print right here would get lost with everything else going on. So I will choose this sticker and what can I pair it with? I think I will pair it with some of the papers that were in the box. Doesn't necessarily have to be paired with a sticker. And I can just go like that. Or this is Czechoslovakia. Let me um, get my inks out and ink this up. Let's go ahead and tear this a little bit. like a stamp. Just tear it on two edges. This is just regular distressed ink. And Kind of like let's distress this. So, junk journaling is really dependent on layering. I like to do the layering and keep going back to these stickers. How would that look? Perfect. So let's get it down on the paper. I'm going to place this in the corner. I'm just using regular scholastic glue. This is the purple glue. And I actually find it works much better than the Elmer's glue stick. I like it a lot. Oops! Let's put this down. It's really sticky though. And I don't keep enough wet wipes handy. I should. Because I need to be wiping my fingers. And let's get this sticker lickety split right. Okay, I got the sticker. And I'm still going to add a flower. I think it's going to look fine. I think the colors of the flower will look nicely with that. So let's go with this one.
that looks that peeled much easier. Very simple. And I have another pocket for my journal and I can stick a tag in there that will fit. There we go. Or I can use it for paper. I can stick multiple tags in if I want. And that is it. Very easy project to make these two tags using the My Creative Studio items. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and comment below. I just love to hear your comments. And I'm already going to write on my tag as a reminder that this is from July 2021, your creative studio box. So I will remember. Okay guys, until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.